Yo, yo, what's going on, family? Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. All right, let me make sure I get y'all set up nicely. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. We got a lot of people coming in today. All right, a lot, a lot of people coming in. So I'm definitely excited about this. This is going to be something that probably going to change a lot of y'all's life. Because a lot of you all, up until now, have no clue about the stock market, what the stock market is doing, um, how you make money from it, none of that, right? A lot of you all have been wondering how the hell all these people are making money in my group, right? I'm going to be showing you some of the stuff today, all right? I'm sure we got some security. I see y'all, STB in the building. I see my people here, right? So, of course, a lot of my people are going to be here. Um, a lot of other people who are, um, they they probably going to be late. They're probably going to be late, I'll be honest. Um, but it's all good. I, I've planned this to be in a way to where I can kind of answer some of y'all's questions in the beginning, if you have any. Um, I'm going to give y'all about 10 minutes to do that, and then I'm going to do my thing, right? I'm going to start jumping into what we really do, how we really get down, and show you how we make this money. All right, so... Number one thing first, um, for all my newbies in the building, because I know y'all are here, y'all wondering what the hell's going on, how does this work, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? Yeah, crypto boom effects. Um, what questions do y'all have? I want to answer some very base level questions. Um, don't get too deep. I just want to know, what have you heard about the stock market, right? There you go. What brokers do you use? I use E-Trade, okay? You can use TD Ameritrade, E-Trade. Trade Zero, Trade Station. We don't go too deep into which one, right? The reason why I say that is because um, we don't, I, I try not to get too uh, serious with it, right? Stocks versus options. You need both, okay? Uh, Robinhood is a good platform to use. It's a great starter pr uh, platform. Once you start making over $10,000, you need to get off of Robinhood, all right? Um, do you use stop losses on your options? I personally don't because I'm not going to be wrong. <laughs> I'm really wrong. And I'm going to show you all why, why I am not wrong very often. That way you can see why the hell this thing is going on. Um, let's see. I want to know what is the alpha and the beta. Um, I don't know if we'll have time to get into that because most people don't even understand like options period they don't understand technical analysis period i gotta get to the basics first but i'm gonna just teach y'all overall what we do okay all of that intricate stuff like what's a beta what's this what's that i've already taught that in secure the bag all right that's there i'm here to teach y'all overall what it is we do okay what it is we do and how we make this thing work okay um how our option Price is determined. Um, there are many ways they're determined. Uh, they price in the options based on certain moves, news, earnings, etc. cetera. Uh, how much money do you invest if you have 50K? Um, shit, I invest all of mine. <laughs> uh, do you mainly stick to certain stocks? Yes, we only stick to five stocks at a time. Uh, what's your chart methods? That's what we're going to get into. Wow, that's good to know. How much yo STB in the building? I see y'all. I see y'all. Uh, let's see. We're gonna start getting behind now. All right, that's what I figured. All right, let's see. Tay really is the goat, y'all. I appreciate y'all. Coinbase is fine. I love Coinbase. Uh, Tay, let me know. This is serious study. Yeah, this is definitely serious. I think that's what you're asking. How do you use technical indicators to enter and exit a trade? That's what we're going to be talking about today. I'm excited to show y'all that, okay? That's exactly what we're going to be talking about today. Um, what, one of the things, right? One of the things we're going to be talking about today is entering, exiting trades based on technical analysis, all right? Um, let's see. Top three books to read. Um, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Um, when it comes to stock market, I don't really talk about stock market books to read because Learn the stock market, the best way to learn is to watch somebody do it, right? To watch somebody do it, watch somebody explain, you know, MACD and all this other things, right? So um, I don't really suggest books on stock market, but just three great books. You know, you pick anything from Rich Dad, uh, Robert Kiyosaki. I know he, you know, he probably is racist, 
half these motherfuckers are, right? Read the information, get your shit, and get out of here, right? You don't need him to be your best friend. You don't need these people to be your friends. They don't need to like black people, white people. It don't matter. It don't matter what it is. Get the information and then get out of here. Um, so cash flow quadrant, uh, rich dad, poor dad. Why people, you know, why why A students work for C students? All of those books are great, okay? Please use layman's term. I, of course, I will. Uh, facts on message, not messenger. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Focus on the message, not the messenger. Facts. Do you have any videos to suggest uh, we should view? That's what we're going to get into today, all right? So it's been roughly about seven minutes. Do you use Scanner with the broker or focus on Benzinga? Scanners is for day traders, okay? We're not day traders. We focus on stocks. I'll show you why, right? I don't, I don't do Forex. No. Is it possible to flip 500 into 5,000? I have somebody who's split 500 into 20,000, so yes. Um, how to read charts, okay? Now, I see that, I see that going on a lot. Let me tell you something. Y'all not going to learn how to. Uh, you'll see. I'm going to show you. I'm, I'm going to share my screen here in a minute, right? I'm going to share my screen in a minute with y'all. And I'm going to show y'all all the chart reading we do. And for those of y'all who think you're going to learn this shit in like an hour, it ain't going to happen. Uh, trust me, I got people in Security Bag that they have all the videos. They have all the, you know, I do a class a week and they still like, hey, this shit, whoo, it's tough, but it's, it's working, but damn, right? So we'll, we'll talk about all of that, right? Uh, we'll talk about it, but it's just, it's just a lot. It's just a lot, okay? Um, I just want to thank you for your time. I'm ready to learn something new and life changing. You are the GOAT. I appreciate it. Family, how many hours worth of videos in STB? Probably about 70 hours at least. At least 70. Um, it's probably more than I haven't been keeping up, but it's at least 70 hours in Secure Bag. Um, at least. <laughs> I'm I'm saying that real hard because I think it's more than that. I wouldn't be surprised if it was a hundred hours, hundred plus. Um, thank you, brother, for the free class. Of course, of course. Of course. All right, I got y'all. So let's get into it, man. It's been about 10 minutes. I think everybody's here, okay? I think everybody's here who's going to get here. If not, they just going to miss out. Just going to miss out, all right? So let us get into it. So I'm going to share my screen with you, all right? Boom and boom. Now, <laughs> y'all don't go crazy on me, all right? And what I'm going to ask y'all to do for the most part is hold your questions because I'm not going to see them. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to see them from here on out because I'm going to get to teaching, right? We got 400 plus people here right now, and it's probably going to grow as time goes because people are just going to be late. We got 400 plus people here right now. I'm not going to be able to keep up with all these questions. I just tell you that now, okay? So just be mindful that I'm not going to have the time to sit and teach this and to work on those questions that y'all are giving so hold your questions to the end for me. We'll get this thing going, all right? So um, right now, first things first, I keep seeing about options, 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 options. What about options, Dave? Okay. Number one, let me, let me take you over there first. Number one, let me show you something, okay? If you come in here, because I know a lot of y'all like Apple, 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 Apple. Apple, 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 right? And many of y'all say, oh, Apple should just go up. Apple should just go up. So you come in here, you look at strike prices, okay? And the first thing you're thinking is, well, I'll just grab a strike price up here, okay? First of all, if you ever see a strike price this high, you're not grabbing that shit. Let me just be honest with you, okay? You want to get your strike prices close to the money, okay? That's just how I play. And I know some of y'all like, but hey, they're expensive. Okay, well, we need to work on another strategy. Now, Another thing I'm noticing that a lot of people are losing money because they're going for the cheaper options. So what they'll do is they say, okay, well, I'm gonna do a December 4th expiration. What does that mean? Cause I know I got some real newbies here, right? What does that mean? Expiration date, okay? What that basically says is if you do a call option with the expiration date of December 4th, which is next week, what you are saying is, hey, I bet you that Apple at 414 right now, I bet you that by December 4th, it's going to go above 115 or 117 or 120. Whatever your strike price is, it's going to go above that. Okay? That's what you're saying. 
Okay, I hope that makes sense. So that's what we call a strike price. Anyway, I know I got some newbies in the building, okay? But this is what we do. This is what we do. Now, we don't play these little, we don't play these little bullshit ass, you know, these are bullshit. I don't really play these, okay? We take them out. We take them out. Sometimes we even go further than that. Even with a short-term trade. I know a lot of y'all are like, but wait a minute, I thought y'all were getting money every week. We do, right? We do. However, I got till March 19th to be right. Somebody asked me about my strike price. Tay, or excuse me, somebody asked me about my, um, you know, well, do you stop? Do you use stop orders? No, no, I don't use stop orders. I don't use stop losses. I don't do that. Why? Because I don't think I'm going to be wrong. I got three months to be wrong. Right? Or I got three months to be proven that I'm wrong. The way I play it, you're going to have to take my money. I don't think I'm wrong. You're going to have to take my money. Okay? So, yes. So, if the contract expires and you ain't where you thought you were going to be, you asked out. You lose all of the money. That's why it's very important to learn this stuff. Now, how do we play? Glad you asked. What we do is we know how to catch the market at the bottom. We, like, we know how to catch the market when it's time to buy, right? And what we do is when we get it, so let's just say it's at 114, we find out where that bottom piece is. We jump in on it. We say, hey, I bet you it's going to go over 120. Okay, and I'll show you, I'll show y'all all the charts and how we come up with that. We say, I bet you it's gonna jump over 120, or it's gonna jump over 115. And what happens is, okay, I'll put it in SCB. I got y'all. For my SCB family, I'll put this recording in there. But for my if you're not in SCB, there will not be a recording of this shit. More than likely, I'll just delete it. Um, but anyway, let's continue. All right, let's continue. So if we think it's going to go over 120 and let's just say, I don't know, let's just say Apple runs up 20 bucks. Okay. So it passes our strike price. So we were right. Like, Hey, I told you it was going to go over 120 and it's sitting at 140. Right. For my people who don't know, one contract has 100 shares in a contract. What this basically means is whatever price you see. So when we buy this at six fifteen, six dollars fifteen cents, 15 you have to multiply that by 100. So that's $615 per contract, right? Hope you keeping up. Y'all got to keep up with me. I told you I'm going to try to squeeze as much as I can in, in an hour or so. That's why I keep telling y'all, hey, <laughs> it's going to be harder for me to squeeze all of, you know, you're like, hey, can you teach us everything and secure the bag in one hour? Very hard to do, okay? So 120 is our strike price. The price currently is 615 for March 2021 expiration date. So basically what you're saying is I bet you it's going to go up over 120. And sometimes you can even get it to 120 and it'll give you a good profit. 120 or above by March 19, 2021. Great. So we get it up to four, you know, 140. So we're in the money. It's called in the money. We're in the money. $20. What does that mean? Well, depending on what your Delta, I'm not even going to get into Delta today, all right? Because that's going to confuse the fuck out of y'all. Depending on what the contract moves, how much the contract moves per price or per dollar that goes up, you make $100 per dollar usually, right? So what that means is, in most cases, in most cases, I'm going to just give you a rough, rough estimate. If the stock goes up $20, this is why we play options, and this is how we're able to make so much money for all my newbies, if a stock goes up $20, which we've seen all of these stocks move that much, essentially what we're able to do is for every contract we have, usually we want to take about anywhere between $1,000 to $2,000 profit per contract. So for example, if you came and you got $120 at $615, but you had $6,000, let's just say you balling, right? you got a little money. You come in, you get you a six, uh, you get you a $120 strike price for $615, right? Keep in mind, I gotta know I got some new people coming in right now. I'm not answering questions until the end, family. Okay? I'm not taking questions to the end, but a strike price is not the same as take profit. No. Strike price is basically you saying, hey, I bet you this stock goes over my strike price. Whatever that is. Whatever it is. So 
That's why I keep telling y'all, stop playing this shit up here. If you play a 250 strike price, and you're like, I'm a, I, got, I, I got Apple contracts at 250 strike price. Essentially, what you're saying is you think Apple is going to get to $250 per share by your expiration date. So if your expiration date is March 2021, then you're expecting 250 by March 2020. It ain't happening. I can tell you that now. Apple ain't doing that. It ain't happening. Okay? Please keep y'all questions to the end. I'm sorry. All right? Please keep y'all questions to the end. Now, I can't help it. It's my ADD kicking in. I saw a question. I'll go ahead and answer this one, but I'm not answering no more questions. All right? We do not sell calls or puts. We keep shit simple. I know a lot of you, and, and most of y'all be broke. I'm going to just keep it real with y'all. A lot of y'all are broke. You got less than $100,000 in your damn account, and you are trying to sell calls and sell puts. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? We buy calls, we buy puts. Keep it simple. Keep this shit simple, okay? Yet when you overcomplicate this shit, this is when you lose money. I heard the guy who killed himself because he was down $700,000. It's because this, I'm not going to cuss at him, but this guy, it's because he was trying to do credit spreads and all this other dumb shit. Call, I bet you the stock is going up. Put, I bet you the stock is going down. You make all your money doing that. You don't need to do anything else. Don't fall for the bullshit. Call, put, call, put, call, put. If you are a newbie, you just need to go call. You wait for it to fall, you do a call. Wait for a fall, do a call. Keep the shit simple. This is why we win. And when I tell y'all I got a 90% win rate, y'all look at me weird because y'all not used to hearing that. Like, this motherfucker making 90% win rate in the stock market? He lying. I say no. It's because we keep shit simple and we're disciplined. That's it. Simple and disciplined. What, the, what does that mean? That means when you hear about a fucking stock taking off, you do not chase that shit. If you hear about it in the news and it's up, it's too late. You missed the train. Maybe you get a, maybe you get the next one, champ. Right? You give them a little slugger. Maybe you get the next one, champ. But don't you chase that shit. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Okay? So if you ever see something in the news, hey, Tay, what about Neo? I'm like, God damn it, stop chasing Neo. <laughs> because as soon as you get in and you think Neo going to keep running, it'll fall. It will fall. Right? And don't even chase it on the opposite side. Like, oh, it's been running forever. Let me do a put on it. Stop chasing. Stop chasing. Okay? I'm going to just say that. So once again, we don't do these high, cheap ass contracts. That's, that's the easiest way to lose money. So we're not going to do that. Okay? <laughs> we're going to do this. All right? And this is why I'm always telling people, hey, it's going to take a little, it's going to take a little money. It's going to take a little money to play this game. So for my people who are just in a fucked up situation and you're looking for like a savior, this is not it. If you got $800 and you're like, man, I'm trying to come up, right? This might not be your move, right? You might need to go back Go back to the drawing board, go work some more jobs, go, you know, do some little odd jobs, some little gigs, you know, do what you got to do. Stack your money. Then you come back. You got a thousand, two thousand dollars, three thousand dollars. Then you come back. Right. I don't know what you got to do. Take some trash out. Do whatever the fuck you got to do. Right. There's some old lady somewhere need their trash taken out. Whatever. <laughs> I'm giving y'all teenage jobs. And that's what I used to do. when I was like, goddamn 12. But seriously, though, do something for money. All right. Start a fucking OnlyFans page, ladies. I don't want to fuck what you got to do, right? Do what you got to do to get this money, and then we invest. But this is not a save me, oh, shit, I'm broke and I lost my job, and all I got is $300. Let me get in the stock market. We don't play that game. I'm, I'm going to send your ass out of here, right? This is not for you, okay? And the reason why I talk like this is because I don't give a fuck about your feelings, number one. And number two, we ain't got no feelings. We ain't, ain't no room for feelings in this fucking game. All right, so I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I'm going to be blunt. And then I'm going to help you get this money. But we ain't got no, there is no room for emotions in the stock market. As soon as you get emotional, you get your shit handed to you. Right? So I talk like this because I can weed your ass out. If you start, huh, good, stock market's not for you. Right? Get your ass out. 
right? So this is why I talk like this because this is actually how I talk. But I don't, I don't filter myself because I ain't got no room for people with emotions. If you are like super emotional about this shit, you got to go. You got to go. This ain't for you. Okay? Because there ain't nothing like getting into a stock and watching your shit go down 30 40 50 $60 per contract. Right? And then you start getting emotional and you sell it and then the shit take off without you. Seen it before. Okay? So please. Please. Leave the fucking emotions at the door, baby. Right? We're here to get money. I'm not here to be your friend. I'm here to make you money. I'm here to make sure you do your thing. Right? So you can change the trajectory of your life and your family's life. That's it. That's it. Right? So getting into technical analysis. This is overall just kind of an overall view of what we do. So a lot of y'all been wondering how the fuck take making all this money for these people. This is what we do. We do options. Okay? Now, Let's get to the let's get to the, the nitty gritty. All right. Let's get to the nitty gritty. Most of you all are looking at this chart like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> right? What the fuck is this? All right. This is gonna tell me why am I doing a March expiration date? This is gonna tell me why am I doing a 120 strike price. This is gonna tell me how long do I expect to make, you know, for it to make my move. This is going to tell me, should I buy it now or should I wait? This is going to tell me, <laughs> right? This is going to tell me everything. This is going to tell me everything I need to know for the most part, right? This is going to tell me everything I need to know. So when we get to our question section, our Q&A section, at the end, I'll go over any questions that I don't um, address right now, okay? Because I'm probably going to break all this shit down. Y'all are going to understand everything hopefully. All right. But this is how we get down. So let's go into, cause I know a lot of y'all play Apple once again. So I'm gonna give you Apple. Okay. Now I'm going to give you a few scenarios of when we made money. I see one of my, uh, one of my big, 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 big earners is here. Shout out to Renee. All right. I'm gonna show y'all what made Renee. What did you make on this move right here, Renee, back in uh, July? Um, when we caught Apple, this was before the stock split. Okay, so you made 40K. So Renee made 40K on this move. I personally made roughly around 75K on this move. We have some other people. Um, Sean, if Sean's here, Sean made like 4,600%, right? What that means is if you put a dollar in, a uh, $1,000 in, you would have made $46,000 on this move right here. Well, how do we know to fucking buy this move? How did I, because people, see, people thought that I like, for, I, I was a fortune teller and I saw the stock split coming. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Not at all. There was two things I saw. I saw a run up, run up, run up, run up, run up. It broke my EMA. So for those of you who don't know, these are EMA lines. I don't have time to explain all of it, but I'm just showing you what it did, right? It's sitting at the top of the Bollinger Bands. It failed. Now, how did I know that it wasn't going to keep falling? I got something in my eye. It's long ass eyelashes, man crazy anyway yes the bottom of the bollinger bands is one yeah that's that's one way that's one way but let me show you something let me show you something real quick because i know some of y'all like well it's bottom band well let me show you something if you if you only play the bollinger bands look what happens when it hit the bottom of the bollinger band here you would have bought that right for the people who play in bollinger bands and then it falls you would have bought that and then it fell again you would have bought that it said the bottom of the bollinger bands it fell again right? You see what I'm doing here? So the Bollinger Band, not the only thing we need to pay attention to. But those of you who don't know what a Bollinger Band is, that's these white lines that you see. I told y'all it's a lot of shit. I'm not going to be able to fit all this shit in in an hour. That's why I'm talking fast. And I, I got to keep going because like I said, it's a lot of shit to teach. And I'm trying to give y'all all I can in one hour. Yes, you should join STB because I can teach you all of this shit in a slower manner, help you understand it so you can get your money. All right, but we'll talk about that in the future. Just hear me out. Let me show you how we get this money, right? So look at this. We're sitting here, it failed. I got what's called a hammer candle. Bop, 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 bop. When I see a hammer candle, that lets me know it's a sign of reversal. Okay, I teach all these can these uh candlesticks in the secure the bag. A hammer candle is a sign of reversal that, that shows you that hey, it's falling, it's falling, it's falling. Hammer reversal. That means it's no longer going down right it's ready to go back up 
So when I saw a hammer candle at the last hour of this day, because this is a daily chart, okay? This is a daily chart, which means each one of these candles represents one day, one day, one day, one day, one day, one day. At the end of this day, I saw a, can a hammer candle forming. I hit the secure the bag family up. I said, hey, y'all better go grab Apple. It's a hammer candle. It's at the bottom of the Bollinger Bands. And of course, I saw on my RSI right here. So we, we can kind of disregard this one. I can take this off. But I saw on my RSI right here that we had a normal support and resistance line. See, some of y'all people who already know technical analysis, y'all don't know how to do that shit. Y'all didn't know that was a thing, did you? <laughs> y'all didn't know that was a thing. So now I got support on my RSI. Because now why am I saying this? The Bollinger Bands is just one signal. We need at least two signals to say bye. I had three. I had a resist, or excuse me, I had support on my RSI. Okay. I had, uh, so excuse me, I had support on my RSI. I had the bottom of the Bollinger Bands. I had a reversal candlestick, which is called a hammer, right? That's all I needed. So that's why I told the secure the bag family to buy it. Now this was before the stock split. So try to try to shift this in your mind if you can. So this was before the stock split. This was at 370. I never forget. I don't forget my 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 entries and where we find stocks. I never forget them. I'm really good at that. Okay. So I saw it, it was at 370. I said, Y'all go buy Apple right now. We bought Apple there, Sean. That's another one of my secure bag. He, like I said, he made 4,600% or 4,200%, one or the other, but it was 4,200% or 4,600% on this play right here that I'm showing you. We bought in at 370. The stock started going up. We got earnings, good earnings the next day, which they, that's when they released. Okay. Sean got 4,400%. Thank you, Sean. So, we had good earnings. And keep in mind, for all my people who don't do math good, if you put $1,000 in and you make 4,400%, that is $44,000 profit, okay? Keep that in mind. Anyway, we got in right here. They had good earnings. During the earnings call, that's when they said, oh, and we're going to split the stock. And the stock literally shot up from right here to right here. It took us literally from 400 bucks to like 440. Keep in mind, we got in at 370, right? And I told my security bag folks that are here right now that played this move, type one, I can see y'all, type one, type one. If you heard me say, or you remember me saying, hey y'all, it's going to 500, hold on to the, hold on to them, right? Look, that go to ones, that go to ones. And I told them, I said, Apple is going to 500. Don't sell this shit. Because this was only like 440, 430, right? Look at all them damn ones, right? And I told them, I said, it's going to 500. It's going to 500. Now, how the fuck did I know it was going to 500? Well, I just got a lot of experience in the stock market, right? For one. For two, these were all-time highs. And I know the psychology. It's what we call psychological resistance, right? So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. These are psychological resistances, right? I've been doing this shit for a minute, man. I know what I'm doing, you know? I know what I'm doing with this thing. This is my baby. This is how I'm able to share the gift with the secure the bag family. I do this, right? I've been doing this a long time. So... When I said it was going to 500, a lot of people held on to it, which is how the Renees of the world and everybody else made 40, 50, 60, $70,000, right? And look at, look at the move. For those of y'all who didn't see this, look at the move. Look at the move. We got in right here. And it just kept going. And we got that move. And some of us sold right at the fucking top, right before it was going to fall. How did we know to sell? Great question. Well. I told them it was going to 500, number one, right? Number one, 500 was right about here. Now, another reason I knew it was going to go to 500 is because they want to they wanna make the stock price as high as they can so they can do a stock split, right? So that's how I knew it was going to 500. But number two, psychological resistance. It passed my 500 price target after the stock split. That's what we call FOMO. 
right? So it hit 500. It came up here and played around 500 at this support. Support, 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 support. This is a line that we call support and resistance. Support holds the stock up. Resistance keeps the stock from going above it, right? This was psychological resistance. What used to be resistance, once the stock passes it, becomes support. What used to be support, once the stock falls under it, becomes resistance, okay? So this is what we saw right here. This is how, this is how I knew to get out. When I saw this, and then it went boop, boop, boop. I said, uh-uh, it's going to play around here. I said, y'all get the fuck out, All right? It's done. At 500, we made our move. Everybody got out. We secured the hell out of the bag. And then stock split happened right here. We had some FOMO. A lot of y'all played this play. A lot of y'all lost money on it because y'all had FOMO, the fear of missing out. You thought Apple was going to keep running. And I told y'all silly asses. But look, for my people who weren't in secure the bag, you were watching me on Instagram and you were like, oh my God, Apple just ran up. I'm going to get some. And I told you, I said, Apple going to fall after the stock split. And y'all were like, but it's Apple though. And I'm like, Apple going to fall after the stock split. And what happened? Many of y'all caught it right here and then it fell. It fell. I told y'all. I told y'all. I told <laughs> right so yeah this was the move that we saw right and yes i'm good at what i do but i'm also really good at, at articulating this like getting it out and teaching i'm a very good teacher that's right i'm a very good teacher okay this is what i do i know how to break shit down and make it simple so this is what we saw right now apple's not done falling how do i know that we got what's called a gap right here Okay, and anytime a stock creates a gap where it jumps from here up to here, anytime it creates a gap, the stock will come back in and fill that gap. It will. This is why you see, y'all thought I was crazy about Zoom. For those of y'all who've been watching me, we saw Zoom at 588. I told y'all, hey y'all, Zoom and Tesla is going to fall $200. You might want to be careful. A lot of people thought I was play pimping around here. What happened? Let's look at it. Zoom shit the bed. All right. It ain't over. It ain't over. But it shit the bed. It really did. It shit the bed. Look at this. All right. I told y'all up here at five, 580 something. Look at that. 588. This is when I was telling y'all. I said, Zoom is going to fall. Zoom is going to fall. Zoom is going to fall. And y'all were like, Zoom forever. Zoom going to run up. Tesla forever. I said, okay. I said, okay. And what happened? It fell from 588 down to 363. $200, just like I called it. And it ain't done. Now, Zoom will run back up. It's probably going to hit up here. It's going to go to like 700, 650, 700. Don't ask me how I know that. Just, just trust me, right? <laughs> Zoom's going to run back up. And in about six months to a year, we're going to come back down and fill these fucking gaps. So when people thinking they on top of the world, they're buying Zoom at $700, this motherfucker's going to fall. It's going to take all your money because it's got to come back and cover this gap at 344. Not only that, let me show you something else. <sighs> this is what y'all don't want to hear this part right here. We got another gap right here at 179 to 182. Zoom has to come back down and fill this gap. But y'all don't even know, y'all don't know nothing about that. That's all right, that's insecure the bag too. I'm just showing y'all how, how, how the fuck is Tay able to read all of this shit and tell us that the stock is about to fall? Because it shows me a picture, right? It shows me a picture. I've been doing this for a long time. You gotta be good. You got to be good at this shit. I, don't, I tell you, I'm making, you know, 20, 30K a day. I don't just wake up out the bed and just like close my eyes and grab some shit. You got to know this stuff, right? And then not only that, I don't just wake up out of the bed and then snap my fingers and all my other people in secure the bag, make all this money. We make all this money because we know our shit and I teach them how to know their shit, right? That's what this is. That's what this is. 
A lot of y'all been wondering, why the fuck is Tate's program $3,000? Because I don't fuck around. You comparing me to old, old boy over here or old boy over there that's $50 a month or $50 for the whole goddamn program. He like, man, his is 50 bucks. What, what's the difference? Yours is 3,000, his $50. I don't know, motherfucker, figure it out. <laughs> figure it out, go, go join his $50 program first. And then you come back and talk to me. Let me see, let me see how many money, how much money you make with him <laughs> or her, right? Facts, this is better than a college course, all right? So this is what we, this is what we do. This is how we get down, all right? This is how we do. You're right. Most people don't teach options. And let me and let me say something else though. Most people don't teach this. Most option traders don't know technical analysis. That's the that's the hard part right there. That's the hard part. Most people don't teach technical analysis. Go join a course. Any one of them. Go join a course. And you tell me, are they teaching this shit? No. Why? Because a few, a few of them, they want to be able to continue to control your ass. They want you in there still, right? So they, if they teach you everything they know, you don't need them anymore, right? Not only that, many of them don't know what the fuck they're doing, right? So they might just teach you long-term strategies. Because that's easy. Hey, get your long-term strategy. Grab it at the bottom of the Bollinger Band and hold it for five years. Hold it for three years, right? That's easy. You got to be a fucking beast to play and make 20K a day. You got to be a beast to play and make six figures a week. <laughs> right? You got to be a beast. You got to know this. You got to actually know this shit to be able to play like that. So a lot of y'all want to play the real quick game. And y'all want to make weekly money or monthly money. You got to be good at this shit. The quicker you make money, <laughs> the better you have to be. The less good you are, or the, the, the more you suck, the longer you got to hold your shit. That's just how it works. So if you don't want to put in no money to learn this shit, if you don't want to put in no time to study this shit, then just go buy a stock and just hold it. This is what we call 401ks. This is what we call a mutual fund. This is what we call bullshit, right? You ain't going to be stunting like us doing it that way, right? Because I know y'all seeing us stunting. We doing all our stuff, right? Should we learn Forex first? Fuck no. I've never done Forex, actually. Why am I so good at the stocks? Because I learned stocks, <laughs> right? Don't worry. Get all that shit out your head. You don't need Forex, right? So... What you think was here first, Forex or stock market? Right? Now, this is just one part of it. This is just one part of it. Now what we got to do is we actually got to go in and we got to start assessing some of these companies. Because I see some people all the time, they ask, what do you think about this? Or what do you think about that one? What about Tesla? What about this? First of all, before I teach you that, let me just show you why we thinking about Tesla. Let me just show you something real quick, right? So for those of y'all, all my Tesla bulls out there, don't get me wrong, I like Tesla, but let me show you something. We got a gap on Tesla between 245 and 253. Tesla will fall to 245. Mark my fucking words. It may take two years to do it, but just be careful. That's all I'm saying. That's when you need to start going in here and looking at the MACD, right? You need to start going and look at the RSI. And what you really need to start doing is you need to go to the monthly chart, take a look back, and see what the fuck it's really doing. Because if you know what you're doing, for my newbies, this RSI right here tells us if it's overbought or if it's oversold. What overbought means is if you are looking for a house and you find your perfect house, you're like, oh my God, it's a beautiful house. I want that house. It's a $300,000 house, but the house is overbought. Because they're asking for 400000 That's what overbought means. Are you going to buy a $300,000 house for four hundred k? Fuck no. You're going to wait for the market to crash or you'll wait to see if somebody else gets it. If they don't, then maybe they'll bring the price down. This is what the fuck overbought means. And guess what? Zoom is highly overbought on the monthly chart. 
What that means is for those of y'all who are thinking this motherfucker is going to keep running higher and higher, you got another thing coming, baby. It might run for another couple of days, another couple of weeks, maybe, right? But this motherfucker has to fall back into its channel, which is right in here, right? But not only that, it's got to cover a few gaps. We got gaps on gaps that it needs to cover, right? So, uh, huh. <laughs> You wondering why the fuck I I'm playing Tesla the opposite way of most of y'all. This is why. <laughs> this is why. All right. Keep in mind, y'all. Please hold your questions for the end. I got you. I got you. Hold your questions for the end. We just getting started. Okay. So once again, this is overbought. This is overbought. Now look at here. This was somewhat oversold. So if you bought Tesla when it was oversold April 2019, look what look what you could have got it for. Let's just blow this thing up. Let's look at it. Right in here. You could have got Tesla huh, for $36. $36. This is, of course, factoring in the stock split. But you could have got it for $36 when it was oversold. And then it ran up to overbought territory up here, which it has hit 500. Let me tell you something. 2019, April 2019 to 2020, uh, November 2020, that's not a long time to hold a stock. And in 2019, if you got a stock for $34, the, the contract for a year or for two years out should have cost you $400, $500. So if you got $5,000, you could have bought 10 contracts of Tesla. Tesla ran up $500, right? In, in essence, what that means is you would have made $50,000 profit per contract. So your ass put in five grand and in a year and a half, you made $500,000. That's how this shit works. Y'all wonder why we stunned, why we doing all this, right? They're buying all this jewelry. The fuck is going on? <laughs> right? This is how it works. Big bag talk. Facts. And most people, most people getting left out of the game. Y'all getting left out of the game. First of all, because you don't want, you don't trust nobody. You think I'm scamming, right? <laughs> Most of y'all who are here, y'all don't think I'm scared. But people are just like, oh my God, like this Negro, he got on this jewelry, he driving the bins, you know, he, he's scamming people. And I'm like, okay, okay. That's why I did this class. I was like, I just got to show y'all what the hell this thing is doing. I just got to show you for yourself, let you see it for yourself. All right? I guarantee you this won't be around long. So yeah, that's why I keep telling you, man, y'all better hurry and come on and get some of this money while it's good. Right? Facts, right offs. The jury is right offs. Okay. I'm not gonna tell y'all how. That's another class, but it's right offs. So this is just a part of the strategy. Okay. <laughs> Somebody said, what won't be around that long? What won't be around that long is the, the fact that this goddamn thing is give, printing all of this money. Eventually, the market will stabilize and you won't get these big swings, these big swings up $100, down $100, right? Because for some of y'all who don't know, let me, let, me give you another, let me give you a little bit more game, man, because y'all ain't, ain't really hearing me right now. So let me show you something. Look at this. Look at this. This is back in September. We took advantage of Tesla. This was eleven thirty. <laughs> I never forget eleven hundred and thirty dollars. We caught that. Okay, I got a, a client named Shauna. She turned six thousand dollars into almost one hundred and twenty k on this move right here, because we caught it. I told everybody to get it. It ran up to twenty five hundred dollars, and then it did a stock split. Once again, I told y'all not to buy Tesla for the stock split, and you motherfuckers bought it, right? Some of you. Y'all bought it at the stock split because it's going to keep going up. I said, don't buy it. People didn't hear me. We got a double top right here. Double top means it ain't going nowhere. Top, top is finna fall. Double bottom means double bottom. Bottom, bottom is going up. We had a double top. I told people, stop trying to buy this shit because nobody listened to me. Look, somebody said, I lost $300. Exactly. A lot of people lost money because nobody listened to me and half the motherfuckers. See, this is what I mean when I say I'm going to get my money regardless. 
half the motherfuckers didn't want to join Secure the Bag because they think, oh, I can Google this shit. And then the other motherfuckers didn't want to listen when I said don't buy it. I was like, y'all not going to listen to me? You know what? I'm going to do some put options on Zoom. How about, how, how's that? Oh, I'm sorry, family. Oh, I'm going to say this and then I'm going to say what, what, that, what I just saw. That number just caught my attention. Hold on. So motherfuckers didn't, li they didn't hear me. They didn't hear me. And I, I'm like, I'm telling y'all why not to buy it. I'm giving y'all the, 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 the story. You can come in here and you come in here and to secure the bag and learn just cost you 3k for six months or 5k for a whole year. Nobody wanted to listen to me. So I did put options on this motherfucker. Cost me $300,000 to do the amount of put options that I wanted. But guess how much money I made? I doubled that shit. This move here, as it fell, look at the fall from 500 down to 330. From 500 to 330. I put 300K on that move because I knew it was going to fall. And as I sold my positions off one at a time, I sold my position. I put 300 in. I sold my position for 600. And how long was that? Remember, these are day these are day candles. So from September first to September eighth, I made three hundred k. And what happened? I'm sorry, family. See, the reason why I said ooh, because that ninety k you lost, most of that is in my bank account. Because I was on I was on the other side of you trying to go long. I went short. You lost it. I took it. This is why I told y'all stop playing against me. <laughs> I told y'all to come get with secure the bag. I told y'all stop playing against me. And I put this shit on social media. I said, man, don't go long in Tesla. I, I said it. I said, don't chase the stock split. I said it. Don't chase the stock split. I kept saying, that's right. I kept saying it. For my people who follow me like, like, like I want you to, like literally follow what I'm telling you to do. Y'all saw, I kept saying it. Don't chase Tesla. Don't chase, don't chase Zoom. Don't chase it. Don't chase it. And nobody really, and I even put up in my stories, I put up, do you think Tesla's going to the moon? Or do you think it's going to come back down? Like I'm saying, and people were like, going to the moon, going to the moon, going to the moon. When I saw that, I said, these motherfuckers just don't know. That's what made me do those put options. That's right. I said it for Apple and Tesla. Facts. And I said it for Zoom. I kept on saying, y'all, stop, 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 stop. So I don't really play puts as much as I play calls. But when I saw that and I saw how many people were getting FOMO, I said, oh, I got it. I got to take advantage of it. And for people who don't know, that's what the stock market is. The stock market is the informed against <laughs> the not so informed, right? How do you think people are making money? Because you got winners and you got losers, right? Facts, we catch falling knives. Y'all know how we do it, Renee. So how, how, how am I able to pull so much money out of the market? That's right, you got smart money, you got dumb money, facts. So when people are chasing and then I'm going against you, I'm taking your money. Like people who were betting against you, that's how you lose the money. Somebody else is going to their bank account. Right. That's one way. That's the major way. And then, of course, the government pumps in a lot of money. Right. So we take some of that. That's what we call reparations. See, I've been teaching this shit for a long time and people just never really. I don't know. Maybe because it's, I don't know. Maybe because I'm black, you know. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. Right. And I ain't talking about white folks. I'm talking about black people. Black people don't trust black people, especially when it comes to stuff like this. Ah, that nigga ain't talking about that, right? I get that all the time. Ah, I'm like, okay. Oh, okay. Sure. Right? I can't wait to go buy this Lamborghini. I'm really finna fuck people up. Um, but anyway, um, that's just one thing, okay? That's just one thing. Now we have what's called fundamental analysis, all right? I'm wrapping this shit up. Right, wrapping it up. Fundamental analysis is a smaller part of the equation. Technical analysis is 90% of my equation. 
Technical analysis tells me, hey, go for it, right? Fundamental analysis tells me the stocks to go for. Because I only play like six stocks at a time right now. I got six that I go long on for like two years plus, And then I got three, four that I trade short term. So over, overall, excuse me, overall is about 10, but I, I have a separate list. So I consider them less than five per list or less than six per list, right? Now, this is what's called Benzinga Pro. If you come over here and you try to do this shit on your own, you're going to get lost, all right? You're going to get lost. So just be careful. Benzinga Pro is not cheap. It's about $1,000 a year. But for people, when they are ready and they are serious, this is where you're going to come to learn some shit shit, all right? You want to learn some shit? Some shit shit. For example, why am I talking shit about Tesla? Because this is an EV play. It's an EV stock, okay? It's an EV stock. I get it. But let me show you something. This says $34 billion, okay? Because it's in millions. I know y'all are like, that's 34000 bro. In millions, okay? In millions. So this is $34 billion in total assets. Total liabilities, $26 billion. They're left over with six billion. So when I told y'all, and I'm just giving you just kind of example. When I told y'all that Tesla was not the best EV play, for people who don't know what EV is, that's electric vehicle. I told y'all it was not the best EV play. It wasn't Neo. It wasn't fucking uh, Fisker. It wasn't any of these. When I told y'all that shit, y'all didn't listen. Why didn't you listen? Because you didn't know any of this shit. Now, I knew of a different EV play. <laughs> All right? Look at this. I knew of another EV play that made $195 billion in total assets. And when I, it was all said and done, when, they, when you subtract liabilities from assets, their total equity left over was $56 billion. So while all of the motherfuckers is watching CNBC talking about Tesla, we over here getting a bag under the table. <laughs> this is, now I'm not saying on this particular play because BYD is a stock that doesn't have options. So I didn't want to trade it. But this is how I'm able to see what the fuck is going on. So once again, people are watching CNBC. I told y'all, if it's on CNBC usually, you probably won't be a little careful with it, right? We go to the bottom. We go find the shit they ain't talking about, and then we get money that way. Because what happens is they try to get you to, hey, look over here, look over here, and then they smack your ass with the hand you're not looking at. That's how this shit works, okay? We were in on Beyond the Meat, uh, Beyond Meat before a lot of people got hang of it. Once they got the hang of it, that shit failed, right? We've been, making, we've been making money on Beyond for like years, like since it's been around. We've been getting money on Beyond. I, I say we because I was teaching some other people before I started Secure the Bag. Okay, that's right. It's a game out here. So once again, this is how, this is how shit works, okay? So when y'all are talking about Neo, I'm looking at these numbers. Like, is Neo doing these type of numbers? Fuck no. We'll go back. Let's look at Neo. Somebody, somebody's going to ask about it, I'm sure. Look at that. 14 billion before, look, and then when they take out their debt, they're losing $6 billion. They're losing $6 billion. What the fuck? And then I come over here and they're, <laughs> they're up 56 billion. What the fuck? So when people are like, what, what about EV play, EV play, right? And see, this is under the table because y'all didn't even know this. This is the stock. This is the same stock, BYD, that your boy. You know, you know, you know the boy I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking about. Warren Buffett. This is the one he went in on. He said, fuck Tesla. I'm going where the money is. But none of y'all really knew where the money is because y'all don't know how to read this shit. Which is also taught and secure the bag. <laughs> I've been telling y'all, man, there's a reason why I charge what I charge. And I'm still underpriced. My people in Secure the Bag will tell you I'm underpriced. I should probably charge more. 
<laughs> but I ain't here to I ain't here to bust y'all head. I'm just here to get my value. Look, James said, yup. <laughs> I'm just here to get I'm just here to get what I'm, you know, I want I want to charge enough to make y'all pay attention. But not so much that, you know, you can't really get in. So yeah, I, I'm I'm definitely undervalued, but I'm not I'm not looking to like come up off of y'all like that. It's just I want you to pay enough to pay attention. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dedicate about the next 10 minutes to answering questions. All right, because I've talked to now this shit goes deeper. I ain't gonna lie. Look, you can go to peers. And you can see, so this is a Chinese stock. So we, we're going to go to, let's go to Tesla. Oh, let's go to NEO. See what NEO got. Look at that. Peers. This is how you can find some stocks. Tesla, TM, GM, Race, right? Ferrari or Ferrari. So you can look and see, all right? You go to Amazon. Hey, what's Amazon's peers, right? Y'all want to find some damn stocks. This is how you do it. Amazon. Who's like Amazon? Alibaba, right? JD.com. You see what I'm doing? You see what I'm doing? You got key data in here, right? We can look at some of these stocks and tell what's going on with them. What should we be doing? Oh, I'm giving y'all so much shit, right? This is why I said I can't teach y'all all. I can't teach y'all everything in one hour. I can't. I can't. <laughs> all right. Oh man. So let's go through some of these questions. Uh, what if I'm a newbie? How do I begin understanding these? It's the same thing, baby. It's the same thing. You got to go. I teach y'all from the bottom to the top and secure the bag. Okay. How do you join? Um, let me get y'all a little link, man. Y'all can go to my, y'all can go to my page on Instagram at taste sweat. Click the link in my bio. It's, it's right there. Um, and then you just join right there. Okay. How much should we come in the gate with? Uh, 1K, 5K. 1K is fine. 1K is like minimum usually. You can get away with 500, but I usually suggest you know, have a little bit more. Uh, we got almost 900 people here, so y'all bear with me. I'm going to miss some of these questions. <laughs> so you open back up. Yeah, I open back up. I put the link in my bio. Y'all are good. Go to my page, uh, at Taste Sweat. Link is in the bio. Um, we can just let me move this real quick. So yeah, if you just let me go and show you. Uh, if you just go to Instagram and you just go to my page. All right. God damn it. Hold on. That's not my that's not my name anymore, right? I'm gonna just look up my Instagram. I should pop up in Google. I think I'm popular enough. I think so. <laughs> I think I'm popular enough. Let's see. I guess I'm popular enough, right? <laughs> Click this link right here, y'all. Okay. Click this link and literally right in here. Okay. Secure the bag is back. Okay. So yeah, click this link. It'll take you on over to secure the bag and then boom, you can grab your 3000 for six months, 5000 for a year. Okay. That's how you do it. Uh, so let's get into some more of these questions. Okay. One play right now I can do to get my bread up. Um, I gave you a couple of them. Okay. I just told you Zoom is, is, is set up to move over the next few weeks, maybe a few months. Give it a little minute. Um, DBX is another one that I've given out. Uh, DBX, look that up. Okay, I think you'll be good. You're going to have to hold that one. It's a slow play. You're going to have to hold it for like six months to a year. Okay. Um, let's see. Can people from South Africa join? Yes, you can. Um, let's see. I'm actually from Mr. Kane's group. And I have three questions. Do you still day trade momentum daily trades? No, I make more money over here and I lose less than doing small cap stocks. So I don't do any more day trading. Um, but David's still my guy. David Kang, that's still my guy, right? We we plan on linking up in Puerto Rico. That's my guy. No, 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 you know, bad blood there. Uh, how do you select contract expiration dates? Um, it's it's just based on the movement. That's why I tell y'all not to not to play a lot of stocks, right? So if I see this falls, how long does it take for Tesla to get back up? You got to see its history, its personality, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So roughly about eight days. Usually if I catch it at the bottom, it might take eight days to get up. If I call it here, one, two, three, four, five. Look at that. Didn't even take eight days, right? It fell again. If I caught it down here, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
still in eight days. Now that's not gen that's kind of how you could do it. It's other ways you can look at it, but that's just kind of how it works. Okay. I'm trying to speed through these because like I said, we got 800 people here, 900 people here almost. So I'm trying to answer all these questions. Sounds like you swing trade these contracts. Yes, we swing trade contracts. I have something that I call the symphony method. So if I have six different plays and one hits every day, right, I'm able to make money every day as each one hits. Okay, that's how we play it. Yes, I said DBX, Dropbox. Yes, that's going to be a good play. It's just going to take some time for it to come. Um, it's beyond the same thing as secure the bag. Uh, beyond. I don't know what you're talking about. Secure the bag is, is the course that we are, you know, that I teach. Can we come into this with no knowledge and make money? Yes, you can. Most of my people have no, <laughs> have no history with the stock market. You're good. Do you leverage plays sometimes? Does implied volatility play a part? Very little. Um, the way we play, we don't really need it. Because I've combined day trading, like day trading small cap stocks. I've, I've basically combined that with large cap trading options, right? So it's, it's kind of like a hybrid, right? So implied volatility is good because it tells you how much a stock potentially can move. That can be up or down, right? But this is kind of how we do it, okay? What about a 300 pre-record? Um, we got one up right now. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to put up chapter two right now. I will see. I don't know. There's a reason why I'm not putting it up. I've been called gaps filled about 80%. Uh, I've been taught gaps filled about 80% of the time. Thoughts? Um, the 80% or the 20% that you're talking about that don't get filled, I don't play those. And that's usually if a gap is less than uh, ten dollars in in width, or I say like nine, eight or nine. If it's less, so if it's like a gap that was created that was like a three dollar gap, I don't really play those because that's that twenty percent you're talking about. So that's that's spot on. But if it's a ten dollar or more gap, that motherfucker they coming back, they are gonna close that gap. I can almost guarantee there won't be many of them that you'll see uh, go up. Now, like I said, I try not to speak in general terms some of them still will uh run off but very 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 small okay amount of them will continue to run off without filling that gap trust me all right now how can i tell y'all this let me show you some shit hold on let me let me solidify what i'm saying some of y'all are like tay that don't make no sense well at well amazon used to create a lot of gaps as it was taking its way up and a lot of y'all don't think that shit will fall back down pretty far let me show you something right let me show you something. So Amazon ran up. I mean, it just ran up and people were like, oh man, this thing ain't gonna stop running, right? But back in here in February, 2018, that's cause I just done my studies. I used to love Amazon, I still do. And I trade the hell out of Amazon. But Amazon made a gap back in February, 2018. And it kept running up and people were like, oh, it ain't gonna fill that gap. It ain't gonna fill that gap. It ain't gonna fill that gap at 1476. And guess what? Literally, literally, from February 18th, it ran up. And guess what? Right around November 2018, it came back and filled that goddamn gap at 14.7, right? And as a matter of fact, it fell all the way down to 1,300. So when people thought that, that oh, it's over, Amazon just going, it $2,000 and the motherfucker fell $700. So for those of you who don't think that these motherfucking stocks won't fall, they do. They all do. They all fall right? And look at this, same shit. It popped up out of this gap and it created, or excuse me, it popped up out of this bottom and it created gaps on the daily chart right here in January 2019. The motherfucker ran off and literally in another year, January 2020, or excuse me, March-ish 2020, look, it came back down and filled that same damn gap back from <laughs> back over here, right? The shit happens all the time right? It will fall. And here y'all are thinking, oh my God, Amazon is at 2100. It's going, it's going to the moon. It falls down to 1600 and then it goes to the moon. So y'all be careful, man. Don't trust me. This shit, I'm trying to tell y'all, man. I'm trying to tell y'all the shit, it will fall. It will fall. You have to study to learn this stuff. You have to be committed. Facts. All right, what charts to use to see those gaps? Uh, you have to learn how to draw them yourselves, okay? You have to learn how to draw them yourselves. Um, this lady right here is one of my favorites. Where are you, Renee? This lady right here, all right? That's Renee. She's really good at, at, at knowing how to draw 
on those charts because this is a one-on-one -on -one of mine, right? Another person, once again, Shauna made a killing. Chris, Kristen, like a lot of these people making killings. I like, look at Sean, my guy, right? This is what happens, okay? This is what happens. So are you planning to keep STB open? I'll keep it open for a minute, yeah. It'll be open for a while. I don't, pl I don't have any plans on closing it, let me say that. Do you pay for any features on uh, trade? Yes, trading view, I, uh, you upgrade so you can get more. Um, I go to like the pro, it's not a lot of money. If you're gonna start with, with your six month course, will I be able to pay the difference of 2000 at the end of the course to upgrade to the one year? Yeah, you could, yeah, I got you, I got you. Um, I just need to get out of my own way and put time into it. Facts. What's up, Ebony? Facts. Okay. Ebony been one of my loyals for the longest, right? Ebony been around since the beginning. You got it, Ebony. Just just dedicate that time and you know I got you. Hit me up if you need some help refocusing, right? Um, tell you, one in your 120 Apple example, why why is the option literally $650 for 100 shares, but it would cost 12000 to buy it outright? I can't understand how this works. So what you're what you're getting into is because to buy the option, let me show you something. To just buy the option here, so 120, to buy the option. Look, well, I'll just show you. Look at this. Boom. I want to buy one option. Boom. $650, right? And you say to buy it outright, to buy 100 shares outright at 120, it would cost you $12,000. Well, the difference here is you're not buying the shares. You're buying the option of the shares. For my people who are wondering what that means. This basically says, look, if this do what I say it do, I got the option to either sell you back the contract at a higher price because the stock went up like I said it would, or I could actually purchase the shares in that contract. That's why it's called an option. Because I have the option to either buy it to buy the shares in the contract or sell the contract back to you at a higher price. That's what we do. That's how we make our money. We buy it here, the stock goes up, we sell it for double or triple, right? That's why. How does the expiration uh, date affect the cost of the option? Cheaper with further out date, um, more expensive with further out date. Okay. The risk is you can lose all your money if you don't know what the hell you're doing, which is why you got to learn to come over here and read these charts, okay? If you are buying options without reading charts, you are a fucking fool, okay? And I'm talking to everybody. I say that the way I say it because you don't need to be doing that and I don't wanna see y'all losing money. So I'd rather call you a fucking fool to your face than to see you continue to lose $8,000. I saw somebody put up, somebody lost $90,000. I don't wanna see y'all losing that type of money. That actually pisses me the fuck off. Because the first thing I say is, fuck, you could have gave me five grand. I could have showed you how to do it. Not only would you save 90, but you could have, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like you could have made 90. So it pisses me off when I see people lose all that money. Okay, so wise up, wise up, all right? We have a Black Friday discount for STV. No, I won't. Um, I don't need to do that. <laughs> I'm going to be one of the only businesses that won't really do a Black Friday thing. So what? Shoot me. <laughs> right? So what? Uh, shoot me. Uh, Waka Flocka came out with a, a mixtape called Salute Me or Shoot Me. That was one of my favorites. Salute me or shoot me. Shit. Right? But I ain't doing no Black Friday, no Cyber Monday. Why? Because it pisses off the people who are here. So my people who pay three grand, if I'm like, hey, Instead of paying three grand, you can pay two grand. My people who pay three grand, like, hey, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Like, I pay three grand, right? I'm not gonna piss off my people. So no, I don't do that shit. And I could have played a game with y'all and I could have hyped the price up and then dropped it back down on Black Friday. Fuck all of that, right? You you rolling with us or not? That's how I, that's how I look at it, right? I come from the streets. You know how I, you, you down with us? You rolling with us or not, right? That's how I am. I have a street mentality still. Right, you can you can roll with us or get rolled over, right? So you already know I'm gonna keep it 100. That's how I am. So I'm not fucking around with all that black. It's just they fuck with your head, man. Like they hike up the price. You're like, oh my god, I missed it. And then Black Friday come, they drop it back down to what they wanted for it anyway. I'm like, man, fuck all of that. Y'all coming tonight, right? Like, look, this is what the price is. It's gonna stay there. 
You coming or not? So now I ain't doing no Black Friday shit. Get down and lay down. Facts, right? Facts. So, I, cause I, I just don't like playing with y'all's head like that, man. I, and I don't have time for that shit. I, I get my money, I get my money from the stock market, man. I ain't got time to be trying to like fuck with y'all's feelings so you can give me some money. Fuck that. I just don't do it. All right. <laughs> oh man, facts. Thank you, Candace. He doesn't need a dime of your money. He literally trying to teach you for forever, a forever skill. Facts, right? I don't need the money, man. Like, I, I really don't. Um, Let's see, how often do you advise us buying or selling? It's totally up to your trading plan, right? Now, that's what we talk about in the group. You'll notice when you go through and you go through, we talk about trading plans because some people go long-term, some people go short-term, some people do both half and half, right? Um, that's a bar right there. <laughs> I mean, and you still sell the recorded class for $199, yep. So, and that's just the first one. I just got that first one. I don't know if I'm going to put anything else up there. So a thousand is ideal to come in with, yes. But let me tell y'all this. I've had people spend their last dollar to come into STB at three grand to give them six months, right? And what usually happens, because I tell people, you ain't gonna get no more money after that, right? So for six months, you ain't gonna be able to get nothing else. And they're like, uh, I guess you're right. So what happens is what I do, yes, the course is self-paced. Um, so what I do is I tell people, look, bring your ass in. Even if you spent all your money to get in, save, 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 and study, study, study. Because most of y'all shouldn't be playing as soon as you come in. No way. Most of y'all don't know what the fuck you're doing. So why the fuck would you come in and expect to play like on week one, month one? Study. I don't want y'all losing money. So come in, study first. Study, 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 study. As you study then yeah this ain't no get rich quick scheme right this you got to study this shit but once you study and you got it by then you should have saved some more money anyway right then we get to it then we get to the money okay when i say study you got to study them damn classes i told i just told you i was like 100 hours of classes in there so yeah i gotta go in there and study what's a macd how does it work with the RSI? How does it work with, what about building channels and drawing support lines and resistance lines? And what about moving support and resistance, right? You gotta, yeah, it's self-explanatory. You just gotta go in and read it and study it, right? And then I do a class every, every week I do a class. Now I won't be doing one this week. No, I will do one this week. Actually, probably tomorrow. Cause I just thought about it. it's Thanksgiving this week. Uh, I want to do a class with security bag, my security bag folks this week, but next week it'll be the first class that I miss. And that's because I'm going to be in Mexico. But outside of that, I teach a class every week. So if you don't understand some shit, you come to the class, you ask your questions, I explain it there. I try to teach you all as we go along. I got you. My goal is secure the bag with a family, no person left behind. If you really fucked up and you don't get it, hit me up, right? My goal is to get you your money back plus some. That's how I roll. I don't give a fuck who you are. One on one. Somebody asked me about one on one earlier. To work with me one on one, gonna cost you a grip. Okay, it's gonna cost you a hundred k for eight weeks. I don't fuck around. Okay, I told you. <laughs> I told y'all. I get to the bag. I ain't got a lot of time to waste. That being said, if you want one on one time for me, it's gonna cost you a lot. However, even with my one on one folks, I've already had the one one guy. He's already got his money back. Right? You pay me a hundred k. I'm gonna make sure you get your money back. You pay me $3,000 to come in for six months. I'm going to make sure you get your money back, right? So that's how we roll with this, okay? Um, do you teach y'all to read charts in STB? Yes. Everything I taught y'all today or I showed y'all today, it's all taught in depth, including taxes. Somebody even asked, hey, how the fuck do you write off your, your chains and shit, your gold for taxes, right? I talk about all of that, okay? Actually, we just talked about taxes last week. Um, Tay is spending his own money to teach this free class. Time is money, facts. Tay is the goat. I appreciate it, family. So yeah, my my hour literally right now is worth like eight thousand dollars, like per hour. Um, which is why I charge what I charge uh, for the one on ones. Because usually with my one on ones, we we easily go over an hour. So with my one on ones, we'll do like an hour and a half, two hours. So that's sixteen k an hour. So for eight weeks, yeah, I want I want a hundred k. That is how I am. And I make them their money back. And then they have a skill that they could take on from there, you know, for the rest of their life. So 
that's how we rock with this thing, y'all. So I appreciate your family. Um, let's see. This is gold. I love it. I love it. I, I love all the amazing uh, love that y'all are giving me. I appreciate it. I really do. So for those of y'all who are coming into Secure the Bag, I appreciate you trusting in me. I will not let you down. I'll see you on the inside, baby. For those of y'all who need to study up or, excuse me, save up some more, continue saving up. It's all good. I ain't going nowhere for a minute, right? I'll be here for a minute. I got you, right? And keep in mind, we roll together, all right? So for if you're on SCB, you like family. I'm going to treat you that way. You ask me questions, you do whatever. I got your back, all right? Now, for everybody else, I can't say the same, God damn it, right? But I got secure the bag. If you ain't secure the bag, I got your back, baby. <laughs> so I'll talk to y'all soon. Um, unfortunately, I did just see that. Unfortunately, there is no payment plans. Pay yourself a payment plan and then come join me, all right? I love y'all. I'm about to get out of here. Go hang out with the wife, all right? <laughs> y'all be safe, man. Talk to you soon.